Hey guys, today I'm doing the fisherman soup. This is Jamie Oliver's recipe. I mean, I have slightly amended the ingredients to what I have, but it's nevertheless great. Do you like fisherman soup? I love it. So let's get started. I have got here a kilo of white fish, um, which I bought from the local supermarket. It's really bits and pieces of codfish, ram fish, and some sea bass. Here I have some shells of shrimps. I literally have six or seven shrimps here and I also have a medium onion. Now here I have a bundle of coriander. First off, I love the taste of coriander in fish soup, but here really it's replacing the celery. I couldn't find any celery in the supermarkets, can you believe it? But frankly, coriander really works great. For the stock, I'm using only the stems. Now, few bay leaves, some black pepper and we're good to go with prepping our stock. Put all the ingredients you have so far in a pot. Get the biggest and heavy pot that you have. I've really struggled with mine here as this is the biggest pot I have. Then add one and a half liters of cold water, cover with a lid and bring it to a boil on a high heat. Once it came into a boil, lower the heat and let the stock simmer on a low heat for about 30 minutes. Our stock is simmering nice and slow and let me now show you the main ingredients. I have one large onion, four small potatoes, they make about 300-350 grams, um, two medium tomatoes, three cloves of garlic and some bay leaves. I am going to be adding those coriander leaves. Um, also have shrimps, about seven pieces here. I have two nice pieces of white fish fillets. Now this recipe works great with sea bass or dorado. And I have here a lemon just to season the soup when it's ready. Okay, our stock has been simmering for about half an hour now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drain the stock. I hope this is proper English. Basically, I mean I'm going to be separating the liquid from the rest of the ingredients. Now, I'm not throwing away the cooked fish because I'm going to be deboning them, behind the scenes of course, and add them back to the soup. All right, our stock is done and ready. We can now start cooking the soup. Get large and heavy pan. Get the largest that you have. I like using these non-stick coated pans because they really allow to use little oil. Now pan on a cold stove, add about two teaspoons of olive oil, then add diced onion and garlic. Turn on the heat to a high heat and cook for about two minutes until the onions are soft. Go ahead and add the chopped coriander and cook it for about a minute. Next, in goes the diced tomatoes and cubed potatoes. I cut the potatoes into small cubes. Cook these for about two minutes. When tomatoes soften and when they start peeling off, then add the salt, the bay leaves and the stock. Bring it to a simmer cover it with the lid and let it simmer on a low heat for about 15 minutes. I don't want to overcook the potatoes, so 15 minutes is good enough for the cubes of this size. And here is how it's simmering. All right, our soup has been cooking for 15 minutes. I now try the potato. If my fork easily makes it, then it's good to go. That's fine. I now add the fish. First off, the shrimps. By the way, if you'd like to know the trick with removing the intestines of the shrimps without butterflying it, I have a video where I show how I do it. I'll add the link below as well as here on the top right corner of the video. Then I add the fish. I don't touch the heat, I just let the fish cook in the same heat for about 5 minutes. 
Then I turn the heat off and let it rest under cover for about 10 minutes to kind of let the ingredients get the flavors of each other. After five minutes, we can try the soup for salt. You can see here the fish nice and tender. By the way, did you know that properly cooked shrimp is semi-rounded, i.e. rounded halfway? If the shrimp is rounded fully or curled up, then it's overcooked. I mashed some potato cubes just to add some creaminess to my soup. And let's try the salt now. Oh la la, it's great. You can now remove the bay leaves, we don't need them anymore. I now add the deboned fish. Remember the fish we used to make the stock? Here we go. And this is what my fisherman soup looks like. I think it's perfectly balanced, there is enough liquid meat, vegetables and spices. Serve it on a nice large soup plate with grilled or toasted bread. I like it even without a bread. Now just squeeze some lemon into it and the fisherman's soup is ready to hit the table. So that's it from me for today, guys. I hope you liked this video and an easy recipe. For more simple and traditional recipes like this, do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next videos. Until then, stay safe and enjoy some fisherman's soup.